Tom, I'm Hithal. I'm Anuja. And you know, uh, one of the best parts about this job is the wonderful, wonderful subscribers and viewers that we have. So one of our viewers, Sandhya, actually sent us this awesome fish cutlets recipe. We thought we were going to go ahead and show it to you. It's so easy, so healthy, and just so delicious. And here's what you're going to need. Two fillets of tilapia, approximately half a pound. One medium onion, finely chopped. One tablespoon ginger garlic paste. Green chilies, finely chopped to taste. Five sprigs of cilantro leaves, finely chopped. Two egg whites. One tablespoon lemon juice. Salt to taste. Red chili powder to taste. One teaspoon garam masala. Approximately three-fourth cup of bread crumbs. Two tablespoons oil. Okay, we've gone ahead and washed our uh, fillets of uh, tilapia. Now, I think you should be able to use any kind of fish, as long as it's just fillets and with no bones in it. And we've washed it and drained it really well. We've got a, a skillet over here, a non-stick one, on medium heat. And it's nice and hot. And we're going to cook it without any oil. So we're using a nice flat skillet and that ensures that the, the fillets cook nice and evenly instead of the pans that have kind of a slight curvature to it. We're going to let it cook on the bottom side for about 3-4 minutes and then flip it around and cook it on the side as well for the same amount of time. So that's, the color has absolutely changed and it's cooked all the way through. It's been a couple of minutes and it looks done. The best way to tell is if you just break up one little portion and it's all white all the way through, it's cooked. So we're going to turn off the stove and we're going to just pick it up, put it in a bowl. And now we're going to just take a, let it cool down for a couple of minutes and then just take a fork and just, you know, open it all up. Okay, uh, I've got a fork here and I'm going to just open it up, the fish, and I'm going to just flake it. Now you can do this while it's hot, but we're still not going to add any of the rest of our ingredients in until it cools down a little bit. Right. And flaking it is going to just make it uh, cool down faster. Mm -hmm. And also the other reason why we don't add in the things is because we're going to be putting egg whites and if you put it in hot uh, fish it's going to start cooking mm -hmm. and you don't want that. We'll have scrambled eggs. <laughs> <laughs> scrambled eggs with fish. With fish yes. yes. There you go and allow it to cool down. Alright, so the fish is nice and cool. Yeah. Carry on. Alright, I'm going to resort to nature made hands <laughs> and because that's the best way to mix it. We're going to go ahead and add in our onions. This is a ginger garlic paste. Our green chilies. Mm -hmm. Wow. And cilantro. And salt you want to be a little careful because a lot of times the seasoning has salt in it and also fish tends to have a little bit of salt so you might want to be careful and you can taste this because this is already cooked so it's absolutely fine to taste it. Is there chili powder? And we have garam masala. And finally we have some lemon juice to taste. Now, a lot of times what happens is the fish fillets are either big or small and uh, so you have to kind of just be careful with how you, uh, you know, when you're adding the things because the onions looked a little too much, we, even though we had said one medium, it looked a little too much for this much fish. So we held back some. We also, I'm going to, uh, we also held back on the lemon juice and we're going to just taste it and make sure everything is okay before you know, we add everything in. Uh, thank you. Okay. It needs uh, more salt and more lemon juice. Okay. Because we are going to be adding breadcrumbs also, so you have to be careful. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and add the eggs. I've checked and make sure everything is okay as far as the spices and everything is concerned. 
The eggs are what actually binds your uh, patties mm -hmm. together. And now we're going to put the bread crumbs in slowly, you know, because we want to make sure we don't overdo it, otherwise they'll turn out dry. It should kind of hold shape, you know, so if I put it all together, it should, I should be able to make a patty out of it, so, or a cutlet, or, you know, there you go, I think this is perfect. Mm. perfect. And also at this time, we're going to go ahead and turn on our uh, skillet back on, and we're going to put it on medium heat and put a little bit of oil on it. Okay, we have our skillet on, we're going to put, drizzle a little bit of oil. And this you can do with very little oil, so... You know, put it very sparingly. <laughs> and we're going to wait for it to heat up. Meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and make some patties. Now, the size depends totally on you. So, uh, you want to make it for a burger, then you need to make them a little bigger. And if you want them for appetizers, you can make small ones so that they're easy to pick up and eat. Yeah, that's and a great idea. And they look idea. very cute. That's a very great idea for appetizers. This is of course best served hot, so you know it doesn't take very long. If once you have this part done, you just stir it, and even if the kids are waiting over there, straight off the stove. And, awesome. And of course the fish is cooked, right? Oh so yeah. Fish is cooked, so you can just uh, basically just brown and serve immediately. Right. So, I think this is hot. Ready? Now they're very, very um, delicate, <laughs> so try not to move them around too much because that way, you know, they'll just open up because well, the only binding factor is the egg, so, you know, just cook it just a little bit and it'll be cooked right through and through. Okay, it's been a few minutes and we'll flip them around very gently and uh, make sure they're done on the other side. Good job, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. Yep. I think this is perfect. Mm -hmm. So about one or two minutes on the side, and we should be good to go. All right. So our fish cutlets are ready to enjoy. Thank you so much, Sandhya, for this wonderful All recipe. Right, yummy. <laughs> so you can uh, serve them with chutneys or with ketchup or in a burger. Enjoy it, and it's just so delicious. It is. So, it's so easy. easy. So anyway, join us again on another episode of ShowMeTheCurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life.